Hi, can you believe the movie Sense of a Woman was released 31 years ago? Many of us grew up attached to the TV screens. I think it would be fun if you and your family sat on the couch and watched this movie again with the entire cast of then and now. Where are these actors now? Who made it to Hollywood and who passed away? Find the answer in our video. Al Pacino was born on April 25, 1940 in New York City, USA. He portrayed the character Lieutenant Colonel Frank Slade in the movie when he was 52 years old in 1992. He is now living happily at the age of 83. That I would uh, get an Oscar, I had no belief that I would get it, to uh -huh. be honest with you, I really didn't. So that was all right. Philip Seymour Hoffman was born on July 23, 1967, in Fairport, New York, USA. He portrayed the character George Willis Jr. in the movie when he was 25 years old in 1992. We regret to inform you that in 2014, he passed away at the age of 46, leaving us deeply saddened. The vandalism. Who was it? Well, uh, I, have an, I have an idea who it was. No, no, not an idea, Mr. Willis. Did you in the theater and so I ended up in a college and I was studying it with some teachers and I was kind of form f f making up what I would uh, use to create. Todd Luiso was born on January 27, 1970 in Cincinnati, Ohio, USA. He portrayed the character Trent Potter in the movie when he was 22 years old in 1992. He is currently living happily at the age of 53. Such wonderful deals. Why, Why did, did the, the trustees, trustees buy him, him Jaguar, Jaguar wheels? <laughs> he wasn't conniving. He was. And that was really like January 19th. And then we're like now slated to open the festival on January 19th. <laughs> Chris O'Donnell was born on June 26, 1970, in Winnetka, Illinois, USA. He played the character Charlie Sims in the movie when he was 22 years old in 1992. He is now living happily at the age of 53. There's this guy at school named Harry. Okay, he's this real rich kid and he like runs the show. Who else? Engaging. And I found out after the fact, Marty Brest, the director, had said to him, he goes, Chris is really nervous around you. Ah. Don't make him comfortable. Because it worked for, it worked for the movie. Oh, it was worked. Sally Murphy was born on October 12, 1962 in Chicago, Illinois, USA. She played the character Karen Rossi in the movie when she was 30 years old in 1992. She is now living happily at the age of 60. You're available for the whole weekend? Uh, yeah. You're not going home for Thanksgiving? No. Received particularly well. Got some uh, sort of dismissive reviews and it sort of paralyzed her. She made a deal with herself that if she didn't ever show her writing to anyone, she told herself that. Bradley Whitford was born on October 10, 1959, in Madison, Wisconsin, USA. He played the character Randy in the movie when he was 33 years old in 1992. He is now living happily at the age of 63. Get that wrong? Because it's not important for me to get it right. What are you doing there now? I'm vice president for marketing. Hoo -ah! Congratulations! My doctor said to me recently, congratulations, you've outlived your shoulders, which was a really, uh, if you want a smart-ass doctor, it was. James Rapporn was born on September 1st, 1948, in Philadelphia, Pennsylvania, USA. He portrayed the character Mr. Trask in the movie when he was 44 years old in 1992. We regret to inform you that in 2014, he passed away at the age of 65, leaving us deeply saddened. I could not make the trip from Oregon today. And what is your relationship to Mr. Sims? Is this a courtroom? The court I so cherish the spoken arts and the arts in general. There was a wonderful small art program, but more importantly, there was a wonderful theater arts program for me. Well, you know, when I was at Wittenberg, I, um... Gabrielle Anwar was born on February 1st, 1970, in Lelham, Surrey, England. She played the character Donna in the movie when she was 22 years old in 1992. She is currently living happily at the age of 53. I wanted to learn once, but... But? 
Michael didn't want to. Michael. Forgiven Trisha <laughs> for, for, you know, following her dream and just leaving him behind. I hope so. Are you a Beverly Hills 90210 fan? Oh. Frances Conroy was born on March 15, 1953, in Monroe, Georgia, USA. She played the character Christine Downs in the movie when she was 39 years old in 1992. She is now living happily at the age of 70. Who are you? Fascinating. We should get together, talk politics sometime. Yeah. Computer. Um. I, but I had those lovely um, sort of wing-like arms in the gorgeous couture suit, so they were sort of wings of their own. June Squibb was born on November 6, 1929, in Vandalia, Illinois, USA. She portrayed the character Mrs. Hunsaker in the movie when she was 63 years old in 1992. She is now living happily at the age of 93. All the noise. <laughs> <laughs> I'm messing around with Chaz. Good evening, Charles. Yeah. I'm a mouth on Broadway. Oh. So I think I've calmed down a lot as I've gotten a little older, bit. though. Yeah. But when you read the part, did you did you just think? Richard Venture was born on November 12, 1923, in New York City, USA. He portrayed the character W. R. Slade in the movie when he was 69 years old in 1992. We regret to inform you that in 2017, he passed away at the age of 94, leaving us deeply saddened. Hello, Frank. Nicholas Sadler was born on February 9, 1967, in Minneapolis, Minnesota, USA. He played the character Harry Havermeyer in the movie when he was 25 years old in 1992. He is currently living happily at the age of 56. Ron Eldard was born on February 20th, 1965, in Long Island, New York, USA. He played the character Officer Gore in the movie when he was 27 years old in 1992. He is currently living happily at the age of 58. Are you test driving this baby? Let me know who's your favorite character from the movie Scent of a Woman and share your thoughts on the deceased actors by leaving your comments under this video. Remember to support us by liking, subscribing to the channel, and pressing the bell to receive my upcoming videos. Thank you and see you again.